Joseph Campbell was a luminary who unraveled the deep meaning behind mythic wisdom. His hero's journey tells you to see your life as an expression of a profound cosmic narrative. His philosophy transcends the boundaries of academic discourse, resonating with adventure seekers, storytellers, and truth seekers alike. Welcome to More Than a Label. Let's embark on a journey through the profound insights and inspirations that form the bedrock of Campbell's transformative philosophy. Let's rewind more than a hundred years to March 26, 1904, when Joseph John Campbell came into the world in White Plains, New York. Known as Joe, he was the first child of Charles and Josephine Campbell, a regular middle-class couple. Joe's early years were typical until a turning point at age seven. His dad took him and his little brother to a Wild West show, where Joe got fascinated not only by the cowboys, but by a Native American figure. This experience planted a seed that would shape his thinking. Growing up, Joe was caught between two worlds. On one hand, he was part of Irish Catholic traditions, and on the other, he was captivated by the raw beauty of Native American culture. This dual influence molded his way of seeing the world. By the time he was 10, Joe had read every book about American Indians in the local library. He explored museums, diving into the rich history of Native American artifacts. Despite a tough time recovering from an illness, Joe's passion for learning continued. He went to Dartmouth College, but switched to Columbia University, where he stood out academically while enjoying jazz music and being a star runner. In 1929, he returned from studying in Europe, feeling uncertain about his future, especially with the Great Depression unfolding. In 1932, he set off on a journey across the U.S., hoping to understand America and his own purpose in life. His travels took him to various places like Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Woodstock, New York. Eventually, he landed a teaching job at Sarah Lawrence College in 1934, where he stayed for nearly four decades. In 1938, he married one of his students, Jean Erdman, who later became a notable figure in modern dance. Joe's life took unexpected turns, leading him to co-author a book on James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake and dive deep into the study of mythology. The real game changer came in 1949 with the publication of The Hero with a Thousand Faces. This book explored a universal pattern in heroic tales across cultures, and it became a big deal influencing artists for years. Over the years, Joe kept contributing to articles, books, and even editing works. His influence reached beyond academia, making his public lectures and talks at places like the Esalen Institute popular. Joe's journey came to an end in 1987, but his ideas lived on. The broadcast of Joseph Campbell and the Power of Myth on PBS in 1988, introduced his thoughts to millions. His simple yet profound ideas made him a rare intellectual embraced by popular culture. As Joe liked to reflect in his later years, life can feel like a story being written by an unseen author. Looking back at Joe's life, it seems like a plot unfolding, confirming the insightful observation he often pondered. At the heart of Campbell's philosophy lies the concept of the monomyth, an archetypal narrative pattern that he believed underlies the vast tapestry of human stories across cultures and epics. In his seminal work, The Hero with a Thousand Faces, Campbell delves into the hero's journey as a universal odyssey, a narrative structure inherent in the mythologies of diverse civilizations. The monomyth, as Campbell envisioned it, compromises stages such as the call to adventure, the crossing of the threshold, trials and tribulations, and ultimate transformation. Through meticulous analysis of mythological tales, from ancient Greek epics to indigenous folklore, Campbell identified this common thread, 
a narrative DNA that connects humanity through shared experiences on growth, challenge, and self-discovery. Campbell's philosophy is steeped in a profound appreciation for the symbolic language of myths. He asserted that myths are not merely fanciful tales, but are, in fact, symbolic representations of universal truths and human experiences. Symbolism, according to Campbell, serves as a bridge between the conscious and the unconscious, providing a language through which the ineffable can be expressed. From the lotus flower in Eastern philosophies to the cross in Christianity, Campbell demonstrated how symbols, laden with cultural and psychological significance, act as conduits for profound truths. By deciphering the symbolic language of myths, you can unearth layers of meaning that resonate with the collective human psyche. To understand Campbell's philosophy, one must explore the intellectual landscape that nurtured his ideas. Influenced by the likes of Carl Jung, Sigmund Freud, and the pioneering mythologist Otto Rank, Campbell synthesized psychological and anthropological perspectives into a cohesive narrative framework. Jung's concept of the collective unconscious and archetypes resonated deeply with Campbell. The idea that certain symbols and themes are universally ingrained in the human psyche fueled Campbell's exploration of the monomyth as an expression of collective human experience. Additionally, the impact of Eastern philosophies, particularly the teachings of Jiddu Krishnamurti, left an indelible mark on Campbell. Krishnamurti's emphasis on self-discovery, transcendence of conditioning, and the interconnectedness of all life found resonance in Campbell's own musings on the hero's journey and the quest for a universal understanding. Campbell's philosophy is not confined to the ivory towers of academia, but extends into the practical realms of personal growth and societal understanding. He believed that myth serves as a mirror to the human experience. The hero's journey, as articulated by Campbell, is not a mere framework for ancient myths, but a mirror reflecting the universal human experience. It begins with the call to adventure, a beckoning to venture beyond the familiar and confront the unknown. This call echoes in the subtle whispers of our dreams, aspirations, and the challenges that punctuate our lives. The crossing of the threshold marks the initiation into a realm of trials and tribulations, where the hero encounters allies, adversaries, and the essence of their own strengths and weaknesses. In our personal journeys, this phase manifests as the transformative periods of our lives, be it education, career changes, relationships, or moments of self-discovery. The ordeal, a central stage in the hero's journey, represents the crucible where the hero faces their greatest challenges, confronts fears, and undergoes profound metamorphosis. Life's trials, whether monumental or seemingly mundane, become the crucible in which we forge our character, resilience, and wisdom. The return, the final stage of the hero's journey, symbolizes the hero's integration of newfound wisdom into their ordinary life. This echoes in our quest for purpose, self-realization, and the continuous cycle of learning and growth. Campbell's philosophy extends a profound invitation to recognize the hero within each of us. In our own personal hero's journey, we navigate the call to adventure daily, cross myriad thresholds, confront personal ordeals, and experience the cyclical return to everyday life. Enriched and transformed. The hero's journey is not confined to ancient legends or epic tales, but unfolds in the ordinary moments that shape our narratives. From the smallest victories to the profound revelations, each step we take becomes a part of our heroic narrative. In The Power of Myth, a series of dialogues with Bill Moyers, Campbell expounded on the idea that myth provides a framework for you to confront life's challenges, embrace transformation, and discover your true self. 
Through the lens of myth, he invites us to perceive life not as a random sequence of events, but as a grand narrative imbued with purpose and meaning. Joseph Campbell's philosophy continues to reverberate across disciplines, from literature and filmmaking to psychology and spirituality. His teachings have inspired a generation of artists, including the likes of George Lucas, whose Star Wars saga echoes the hero's journey delineated by Campbell. The enduring legacy of Campbell lies not only in his scholarly contributions, but also in his ability to distill profound wisdom into accessible narratives. His belief in the universality of myth and the transformative power of storytelling invites you to embark on your own heroic quests, contributing to the ongoing saga of human evolution. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts about the hero's journey, especially yours. And if you found this video valuable in some way or another, it would mean a lot if you consider supporting the channel with a like and subscribe. Peace.